Hello everybody and welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Shelly Geigel with JNS Hobbies and Crafts and I have a folio project share for you today. This is quite thick of a folio and it holds quite a bit of photos. This measures about six inches by I think eight and a quarter and then the spine is about one and three eighths inch. And the paper I used is the Chow Bella Moon and Me. Now this particular folio does take more paper than one, so you would need like one full pack and then some sheets out of a second. But I wanted to show you this because the paper is quite unique. And I know there's a lot of people that like that theme. So I thought I would show you what I came up with. So in this folio there is no tutorial using this paper and I also have another project share with the same design folio using a different paper that I will post a video on after this one. I will be doing a tutorial on how to make this folio though uh, using a different paper. So this is what I came up with. This folio, oh by the way the back, really cool. Uh, this folio, it just folds into itself. So the first thing here, let's tackle this. Here what I have is a picture mat and you can slide back behind and slide your photo right on in there. This opens up and you have a generous size pocket over here in which I just made some picture mats and a little folder. Very unique, fun paper to work with. Here what I have is a flip and there's a place right there to put a photograph and you can also place one here. There's only magnets on the closure part so I didn't feel that I needed to place a bunch of magnets in these because when you're closing it up it just all kind of flops together for you so it's not necessary. Okay, this flips up like I said and then that will flip down another place here and these are a series of foldouts that I'm going to show you. Now if you, for picture placement, um, you can place one right here and still retain this image. So you open it up this way and you can put a picture right here, right on the moon. That'd be really cool. And it opens up this way and then you've got your two pockets. And I just did a little folder and I have a picture mat. Same over here, little folder and picture mat that I was able to do. And if you don't want to cover up the image, you like the image, you can always place something on the back too. Me, myself, when I place photos, I do generally like to have that decorative paper for the border. Now I have another set of foldouts here on this design and this would make a great place to put a photograph here and it folds out Here's picture placement, and then this will fold out again. And then you have all this space for photos and maybe one right up here. It's really unique. It's really kind of, it's a fun paper to work with. So you just kind of fold it all in on itself. Over here, we have another series of fold outs. And they're a little bit different. They're larger. And that's why it took more paper. But this does fold out. If you open it up like this, you have all this place. But it then opens out like this. And you've got your pocket. And same thing over here. You have place for a photograph here or wherever you'd like to place it. And then this opens up. And you've got your other areas and your other pocket here. So got that all opened up. Now this piece right here will accommodate a picture mat to slide in back behind. I just haven't used that yet and had to uh, cut more paper to place it there. But this will flip up and you've got this great big place here to do a couple smaller photos or one large one. And again you can put a photo here and down in here. And then what we have in the middle is our waterfall. So that is what I created and uh, it's, it was a lot of fun to work with this paper. And uh, I know some of you, um, whoops, 
that's wrong, this goes first. Uh, some of you have been looking at the paper, want to know how to use it, so this is some inspiration for you on how to do that. So I hope you liked my project share, and I will be bringing you another one, like I said, using a different paper for inspiration. And then I'll go ahead and get started on filming the tutorial to make this thing, and it is a lot of fun. Happy crafting, everybody!